Okay, it's Friday night. I'm about to knock off for the evening, and I just wanted to show you a super cool little trick that I just created. So I'm going to hide this down at the bottom. I'm going to move me up to the top here. Uh, but what's really slick about this is we have an image in the background. You can see that it's parallax, and the bottom part stays at the bottom down here. But here's, here's the cool part. No matter what the viewport size is, the image will adjust with it and the bottom, this uh, section down here, will always stay pinned to the bottom. And the best part about it is it takes one line of CSS code. If you're using the parallax image, if you're using like 100% width and height, then it takes all of three lines of CSS code. So let me just show that to you real quick because it's uh, really super simple. So let me just uh, pare this down a little bit. And what we have here is just the container is the top container here with the uh, the lady in it. And then we have all we put in is height is calc 100 VH minus 130 pixels in this case. Now, the 130 pixels, what that is, is that is the height of this element down here. So let's kill that for a minute. And then we'll come down to this element and we'll just right click on it and inspect and let's see, it's not that, we don't want the row, we want the whole container. So the whole container actually, is that the right container? Yeah. All right, well, it's taller than I thought it was. So it's 96 pixels, plus you got to take into account for the padding and everything too. So you got 96 pixels plus another 40 pixels of padding. So it's really 136 pixels. So let's go back into our CSS and we're gonna change that. I only had 130 there before. So what this says is we wanna take 100 VH. 100 VH means take 100% of the viewport height and then subtract from that 136 pixels, which is the height of our element at the bottom. And like I said, if you were to, let me size this down a little bit. If you were to uh, do this with anything other than a parallax, you want to put in this code right here uh, just to, uh, take a uh, basically what it is parallax puts that in and so um, if you don't do parallax you have to put that in yourself so here it is let's just jump out of here let's save it we will click on this again we will reload the page and again well i think it was well I think it was right the first time. I'm not where, sure where that 136 came from. It should be really 130. So either way, you got to play around with it a little bit to get that number exactly right to get it to, to line up properly at the bottom. But once you do, it's a pretty slick effect, and you can just scroll it up. And then what I have this set at is then I have that set to stick to the top. So you can basically start your page off with your nav bar at the bottom, and then you can scroll up, and the nav bar goes to the top. So it's a pretty cool effect and just uh, change that one bit of CSS code and I'm going to change it back to 130 because I think that was the right number and uh, we'll click on save, reload it one more time and then we're going to call it quits for the day. Let's see here. There we go. And okay. Yeah, there we go. And again, no matter what, let me uh, just shorten up the viewport size here and let me reload the page just to make sure that it is working properly. So this would work great on a cell phone or something too, where you could have the, have the nav bar or anything you wanted to start at the bottom. And then as you go through, it'll just scroll right up to the top and just hang out there. So that's it. Have a great day.